Hey collectors! Welcome back to my channel, Duncan the Collector. Today is a very special video. Today we'll be having a look at our very first Jurassic World Dominion figure. Here we have the Sound Slash and Edward Scissorhand, I mean Therizinosaurus. This is an awesome figure. Let's take a look at her new awesome packaging. Her box is very cool and different compared to last year's Dinoscape line. Here we have a massive render of Rexy and a forest with some power lines, a helicopter, a road, an emergency vehicle, and down here we have one flipped vehicle. We also have some diagrams. Here we have the Therizinosaurus's roaring action and some of the new scan codes. And down here we have her slash in action. On the front of the box we have a Dominion logo and the name. We also have some more diagrams. On the sides we have one Dominion logo and on this side, we have a Pyroraptor render. The back isn't too special. It has the same renders along with another Dominion logo and the name again. It also showcases the new Thrash and Devour Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. Now, let's go ahead and get her unboxed. Wow, this is one massive figure. Let's start by looking at her awesome sculpt. The Therizinosaurus has tons and tons of feathers all over her body, which looks great. There aren't too many other details on the body other than the feathers, but before we move on, we'll take a look at the new scan code. Now instead of being on her foot, there's this little tab you pull from her back, and here it is. It's a neat feature, but I'm not sure why they moved it. Now, let's take a look at her tail. The tail has a ton of feathers and it looks fantastic. The underside of the tail has some nice wrinkles and folds, looking very realistic. Her underside also has these details along with a speaker hole. Her legs look great with even more feathers and deep details. She has very big and muscular calves. She has tons of scoots on her toes. Her toenails have nice grain to them. She also has a dew claw, which is very nice looking. On the underside of the feet, we have some nice warm looks to them and a few wrinkles. Now, let's take a look at her arms. Her arms are very muscular with a lot more feathers and wrinkles. It looks really cool. Her hands are very nice looking. She has lots of scoots on her fingers. And on the underside, they have some nice scales and creases. Her extensive nails look great with the perfect length and a nice amount of grain. Paint these suckers pink and Cardi B might have some competition. Yeah. Now, let's move on to her neck. Her neck looks nice with the same feathered and wrinkled details. She also has a visible esophagus. The head is definitely one of the best parts of this figure. Now of course, she has even more feathers. She has some on the back of her head and on her lower jaw. She has very pleasing bone structure, especially around her eye and above her nasal cavity. She has very deep nostrils and a beak. Her mouth is a little different. She has very jagged and sharp teeth. This is very strange as she is a herbivore and not a carnivore. Her tongue is okay, but has no texture or detail. Overall, she has a fantastic sculpt. Now, let's take a look at her paint job. Her paint job is somewhat simple but looks pretty good. She is almost entirely cast in dark navy blue. She has a red stripe going up her back to her head. There is also some of this red around her eyes. Speaking of her eyes, her eyes are perfectly done. They are orange with a black slit and a perfect amount of gloss. Her mouth also looks really good with her jaw membrane and tongue being in a glossy pink and her teeth in an off white. There is a smoky greenish gray color on her face, lower jaw, neck, chest, and feet. Her claws are painted in a gray bony color, and there is this little bit of white on her neck. Although simple, her paint job looks pretty great. Now, let's take a look at her articulation and action. Let's start at her head. Her jaw opens a little bit, yeah. and her head is on a ball yeah. joint giving her a fair range of movement. Her lower neck can only move down. This is for her roar. Her shoulders can rotate and move out pretty far. Her elbows are on a ball joint and have a pretty good range of movement. Her hands can also rotate and move up and down. 
Her waist moves a little, but doesn't stay in place as it is part of her action. Her legs move pretty well, and her knees can go in and out slightly. They also rotate a little. And finally, her tail moves ever so slightly side to side. Now, let's look at our sounds and actions. Now, if you move the tail side to side, you trigger the slashing action. All it does is move the waist, so really you have to pose the arms into a slashing position rather than an actually slashing. This is kind of lame. I wish it was something like the grab and growl Indoraptor figure. For our next action, if you press this button on her tail, she does the roar. Do the roar. It looks great. It looks like the scene where she's roaring at Claire in the water. She also has the accurate sound effects and not just a mashup of random dinosaurs. Overall, she has great articulation, pretty cool actions, and some great sound effects. Now, let's compare her to a couple figures. Here we have the Therizinosaurus next to the original Claire. Wow, the Therizinosaurus just towers over her. This seems to be a pretty accurate scale to the movie. In the roar. And here we have the Therizinosaurus next to one of my favorite figures Mattel has ever made, the Stomp and Escape Tyrannosaurus Rex. If you haven't noticed already, she's massive. They really complement each other. She's a perfect size to combat the Rex. I'll be sure to get some photos of them fighting. Now here are my final thoughts. Overall, this is a pretty great figure. She has an amazing sculpt, a pretty good paint job, fantastic articulation, and some pretty cool actions. She also has a pretty nice size. This figure is a bit expensive being $50 Canadian, so unless you really, really like this figure, I'd maybe wait for a discount. She's a very unique and interesting figure, and I would recommend her. I give her 8 occurs out of 10. Alright, I guess that's it for now. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you didn't, hit the dislike and unsubscribe buttons. If you like toy photography or pictures of Cheddar the Cat and Cheetah the Dog, follow me on Instagram. If you'd like your collection to be featured in a video, message me in the comments down below or hit me up on Instagram. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now and have fun collecting.